happening in the world that you cannot imagine what it would be like if you were just dropped in the middle of the world and said, live. You honestly think that if all the men were gone, that women would go back into their houses, homes, condos, everything else, and just turn the lights on and keep acting like nothing happened. You go to the gas station and it'll be full of gas. People have to drive that stuff, truck it in, truck it out. People have to produce it. Men are producing these things. You And this is what it's showing, that women have no idea how this country runs. You just think it comes out of a, out of a can, out of a store. And when I'm trying to explain it to you, ma'am, in the example I said, when men are gone, are you still going to stick to the fact that if men are gone, that women in in a short time frame in, in under a month could get up to speed and do everything that men are doing to save the population? No, I'm not arguing that it could we could get up to speed in a month. It would probably take a little bit longer than that. How long? I, I don't know. I can't really say. You know, maybe okay. six months. Who knows? Six, six I, months. I, I, six I, months. Six months. It, it, and I think it was, it was far longer than that. Six months. See, six months presumes that things aren't breaking. Six months presumes that you just have to learn how to put tab A in the slot B and get it running. What happens when it breaks down? Ma'am, you don't possess the physical strength to lift some of the things and maneuver some of the tools that are required to fix the machinery. You don't possess it. Tensile strength of a man's hand is like 75 t and is, yours is like 48. Ours is like 70 times stronger than you. You cannot lift it. When it breaks, it's broke. The strongest women still are weaker than the, are not stronger than some of the most average men. I, I, you know, in terms of this argument about strength, I'm not, I, I will just see that strength is not equal between men and women. But I don't think that women are so ignorant that they can't figure out some alternate source for whatever resource it is that has broken until they discover. Really? Really? Yeah. Really? So the power. Okay. So, so, so what you, so what she just posited now, class, is that <laughs> men, no, what she posited now, class, is men have built the infrastructure the way it is right now and it's working. But what she's actually suggesting is that if men were not there, that women could come up with an innovative way to, to not necessarily need to do it the way men have done it for hundreds of years. Women will come up with an innovative way that will work for a female solution that produce at the same level. Outrageous. We can agree to disagree. I, no, there's I, no I, agree. There's no agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. You, no, yeah. no, there's no agree. No, no, no. We don't agree to disagree because number one, women aren't aren't in the technical fields like that anyway. And the fact of the matter is, this bothers me because so many black women really think like this. Black women want anything else because you've been told that you're equal to a man, and in a lot of ways you're better. And you're sitting here no. really seriously, ma'am. This is about engine, science, engineering, technology, and math. This is about machinery. This is about power. No power in a city. In LA, if the power goes out, everything is out. Nothing works. People start dying. There's no running water. Where do you go get your water, ma'am? Where are you going to go get your water? How about that? Let's just start with you. Power yeah. goes out. Where do you go get your water? I'm not, I'm not sure where water originates in this city where I live. Um, okay. But well, I, but, 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 but you got three days. Where are you going to go? Probably the beach or somewhere where there's a water source. I the don't beach. know. I, no, I, no, listen, listen, listen. The beach, the beach. You're going to go to the beach where there is ocean water. Or some other water source. No, 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 ma'am. No, that's the beach. Is that water potable? I could take it home and boil it. On what? I could take it home in one of the... On what? <laughs> On what, ma'am? You could take it home and do what? And boil it. On what? On my stove. You said power, not gas. No, no. That, that See, gas is power, ma'am. I said the power. See... The electric runs the gas and the gas runs the electric. When they go out, the gas stops, the electricity stops. See what I mean, folks? She's saying she could go to the ocean, which is full of seawater, salt water, 
and she thinks she can just simply take it home and use what men have already done and go and just simply stick it on her stove and boil it. But there's no more stove, ma'am, because there's no more gas. Now what you gonna do? Time is okay. Well, then I will get some twigs, light a match, and then boil it. Okay, so now where do we go? Okay, you're gonna boil it. You're boiling water. And you got a big old pot. You're boiling water. Yeah. How are you gonna cap how are you going to where's the water going to come from? Because it's seawater. How are you going to capture the, the water that's well, first of all, do you even know how this process works? You boil I'm not water. A so no, I don't. I don't profess. So to so 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 you will go get some seawater, boil it, drink it, and then die because you don't understand that you cannot drink ocean water, and you don't realize that the water you're supposed to be drinking is in steam form. And if you don't have a way to collect the steam and condense it back down into drinking water. You would drink the wrong water, just like eating the wrong berry. And see that TikTok? That's dying. And see, most women are like you. They run out to the beach, and everybody's at the beach. Thank you for proving that you don't even know how to get water. And you got three days. <laughs> ma'am, it's not an insult. It's not an insult, ma'am. I, I don't take it as an insult. I listen, I'm I, this is a fair conversation. And I listen, I would propose to you if you think that all men are capable of doing the exact thing. We oh, no no ma'am. So the difference between men is we would see the difference between men and you is they go to their stove and it would still be on. The difference between men is we already run the infrastructure. Stuff will keep coming. We'd still have water. We'd have we'd have we'd have water in our faucet. We'd have bottled water. We'd have it all because we already do it. See, that's the difference. We're already doing it. And you and I just explained to you how you don't even know how to the basic stuff human beings have had to do since we've been on this planet. You don't even know how to do it. Personally, and the thing I is, huh, no, no, no. Let's stick I here. No, don't, don't over talk me. You don't know how to even understand that there's not drinkable water. See, this is what I meant about Bear Grylls, the island. Women just think shit happens. Men would not have to do it because we're already doing it, man. If women were disappeared, you know what would happen? We would have an abundance because the, the women that are gone, men wouldn't have to produce for all the men and all the women. All the men would just have to produce for the men. We would have overflow. Because we wouldn't have to carry you guys anymore. That's the truth. Can you at least acknowledge that? That's simple math. If you guys disappeared like that, the men who are already producing at 80% wouldn't have to produce for 51% of women. That means all the additional water that women were drinking, all the food would still be there. Men would have plenty. Uh-oh. Can you at least give me that? Listen, listen. Can you give me that? No, don't tell me to listen. Can you give me that? <laughs> I, I can't because not you can't. No, no, no. You can or you cannot. You're using you your can't. No, 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 no. Don't over. No, no. I want to be clear on this. Can you give me that? Yes or no? no. Then get off my goddamn phone. <laughs> You're out of your mind. This is what's wrong with so many sisters. This right here. I want you guys to pay attention right there. That's the problem. <laughs> yes, you. Shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. 